It's time for Optimum's Red Hot Sale. Get 200 meg internet, TV with over 260 channels, and unlimited home phone, all for $69.99 a month for one year guaranteed. And for a limited time, HBO and Showtime are included for one year. Switch today. Click for details and special web-only offers. This is episode 793 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Altman, the big game hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And welcome to the show that has more episodes in iTunes or Stitcher of any show about job search that you can find. Today's, well, it's the day before July 4th, American Independence Day. I'm going to have an interesting show for you tomorrow that you can listen to at your convenience. It's not a requirement. Uh, for July 4th. It's just something that's been on my mind for a while that I think will touch an interesting chord for you. But meanwhile, today I have one that focuses on how to do really an after review uh, series of questions for yourself to understand the job better and to understand whether you'd like to go forward. I hope you find it helpful. Please give the show five stars in iTunes or Stitcher. It does help other people find it. And if you're interested in one-to-one coaching from me, there's information at the end of the show that I think will be helpful. Now, let's get going. Now, most of the time when I and other people do uh, videos about interviewing, we talk about either the preparation for the interview or the process of the interview and how to answer questions better, how to be more effective in the room, et cetera. But there's a part that takes place after the interview that I think gets neglected. And everyone knows about thank you letters, but I don't think that's really the first place to start. See, after the interview, what I want you to do is when you get back to your computer, I want you to sit down and write down a couple of notes. And the first question I want you to answer for yourself is, why do you think you can do this job? Again, this is for yourself. And it's going to give you some, some, well, I'll I'll get to that later. So first question to answer is, why do you think you can do this job? Why do you think you might want this job is number two. Number three is, What about the position or the firm is attractive or interesting to you? What red flags came up as a result of the interview? And what questions do you still want answered? Lastly, and this is like a conclusion, do you want to continue interviewing for this position? Now, I don't want you to start at the end. I really want you to go through the individual steps. I'm going to repeat now. Why do you think you can do the job? Why do you think you want the job? What about the company or position is attractive to you? What red flags came up during the interview? What questions do you still want answered? You see, what I find happens over the course of time is people's thoughts and feelings about an organization or about a position dissipate. And they forget these questions. They forget their initial impressions. They forget a lot of stuff that's taken place. By writing it down, by by saving it, you have a resource that you can refer to before the second interview and before, you know, let's say you get to the offer stage and you have multiple choices. Well, you can go through the process of reviewing your answers to each of these questions for each firm and what's taken place afterwards. Again, not just after a first interview, but after a second interview, after a third interview, you do this process. So this way, everything is fresh. It's a reference point for you and you can uh, move on. Now, again, I do want you to send thank you letters that are really very simple. A thank you letter is just going to basically be an email that starts off by thanking them for making time to meet with them, uh, meet with you, talking about your interest in the position, reviewing what you learned and how your background matches up to it, and indicating that you're interested in, in moving ahead for the next step. Now, In reviewing your answers to these questions, the last one is, do you want to continue interviewing uh, 
uh, for this position. I want you to keep doing that one more round if you have no's to all these questions. And the reason is you may have missed on something. You may be confused about something and the next meeting will clarify it. Again, don't close doors on this round, close them after the next round if you're still not satisfied. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to connect with me. First of all, if you're interested in one-to-one coaching from me, email me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us in the subject line. Put the word coaching. This way I know what it's about. I can get back in touch with you. We'll figure out a time to speak for an introductory conversation so that I learn what your needs are and you can figure out if I'm the right person to help you. Generally, I work with people at a manager level and above, but I do make exceptions from time to time. If you're not at that level and want advice from me, the best way is through JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. There I have curated information that I've developed and others have as well that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Again, you can ask me questions through the site. I'd be very happy to answer your questions. I look forward to helping you in either of those two ways. And if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love hearing from fans, from listeners who have been helped by the show. And like me on Facebook. The page is facebook.com forward slash nobscoachingadvice.com or look for Jeff Altman, the big game hunter there. Give me five stars, a great review. It helps other people discover the show. And I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Take care. It's time for Optimum's Red Hot Sale. Get 200 meg internet, TV with over 260 channels, and unlimited home phone, all for $69.99 a month for one year guaranteed. And for a limited time, HBO and Showtime are included for one year. Switch today. Click for details and special web-only offers. At MetroPCS, we let the numbers do the talking. Four, enjoy a reliable 4G LTE network that's faster than Sprint. Two, get two free smartphones when you switch to MetroPCS. 99, the percentage of people in the U.S. covered by MetroPCS. Get two free Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime smartphones when you switch. MetroPCS, wireless figured out. Coverage not available in some areas. Sales tax not included in phone price. Excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network are active on MetroPCS in past 90 days. Coverage claim based on talk text coverage. Speed claim from downloads. See store for details, terms, and conditions.